Hello, third intermediate students. Today, we will be taking unit seven. Before we start the unit, I would like to ask you to take your class book, your workbook, your notebook, and your stationery. So I'm expecting a pencil, a pen, and a paper. And make sure that you're seated comfortably. So that being said, today we'll take lesson A, 7A, eating out. Take a minute and look at the picture. What do you think the lesson is going to be about? The objectives that we're going to cover to identify words related to a restaurant, two, to use nouns and adjectives to describe restaurants correctly, three, to write a short restaurant review using adjectives accurately. Now, Remember the picture that I showed you in the beginning? In addition to that, I want you to have a paper with a pencil as I'm going to present a number of words with its definitions. Try to match them. I'll give you two minutes. Stop. time is up. I'm expecting by that you read and you reordered the definition based on the numbers. Let's check your answers now. I'll be presenting the answers accordingly. So one, two, three. Please make sure you check your answers. Moving on. Now, these are the words that we usually use in a restaurant. But my question to you is, another activity, if you are going to recommend a restaurant to me, what are the points that you are going to consider? So please, I want you to take a piece of paper and think in 30 th seconds, what are the points that you would recommend a restaurant based on it? Start. Okay, time is up. Let's see if I was in your place while reviewing a restaurant, the first thing I'm going to be I'm go I will be tackling is food. The very first thing, is the food tasty? Spicy? Is it traditional? Along with the food, the price. 
The second thing I will be asking about after knowing that the food is traditional or good or spicy is how about the price? Is it a reasonable price or are the prices high? What comes next? The staff. Are the staff friendly, welcoming? The service. Does the food, when I order it, come fast? Or does it take a long time and they're slow? The atmosphere. Depending here on who I'll be going out with, the atmosphere and the decor plays a role. So if I'm going to have a meeting, I'm usually going to take a formal atmosphere and the decor I'll go for modern. So depending, whereas if I'm going to go out with my friends, I would pr probably prefer relaxing atmosphere, simple. So it depends on the tastes and on the person's preference. Now, what I want you to do is, usually, as we said, there are two points or two parts that can be joined together to make it one. So the food, the type of the food and the price could be merged, joined together to create one sentence. For example, the restaurant serves fast food at a reasonable price. So what is the type of the food? It's fast food. And the price is a reasonable price. Now, I want you in your piece of paper, together we'll read the sentences and write for me the type of food and the price. The restaurant serves different traditional French food at a high price or at high prices. What is the type of the food? Traditional French food. The price? High prices. Now, similarly, the next sentence, the, the coffee shop serves delicious cheesecake at low prices. What is the type of the food? Delicious cheesecake. The price? Low prices. Fixate on the structure of the sentence or the way we wrote the sentence because we are going to continue using it. Now, as a practice, I want you to write the food, spicy Asian food, and the price, reasonable. Write a sentence following the previous example. One minute. Now I believe the one minute is done. Let's check your answers. The sentence should be, the restaurant serves spicy Asian food at a reasonable price. So we specified the type and the price. Similarly, if we were gonna talk about the decor and the atmosphere, again, we can join them together. Keep in mind that usually every two points are related. So you can join them as one. For example, the decor is classic and the atmosphere is formal. So, the deco, classic, atmosphere, formal. Similarly, let's do together this, the next sentence. So, the restaurant's atmosphere is friendly as well as the deco is modern. Friendly, the atmosphere, and the deco is modern. Now, again, I want you to write a sentence using modern and cozy. One minute.
I guess the time is up. Let's check your answers. The decor is modern and the atmosphere is cozy. Similarly, the staff and the service, we can join them together and have the following sentences. The service is excellent and the staff are professional. The service, excellent, the staff, professional. Let me freeze here and tell you one thing. The staff, we could, be, we could use both is or are, and both are considered correct. Now, the second point, the restaurant service is slow, but the staff are friendly and welcoming. So the service is a slow, but the staff are friendly and welcoming. Here, I want you to pay attention. A question will follow. The third point, the service is poor and the staff are impolite. What do, we, what do you notice? There is something we said excellent and professional in the first point and we used and. Then we said slow but the staff is friendly and welcoming. Which means that if we are going to use the word and, make sure it's either positive, positive, so the service is excellent, and the staff are professional or negative, negative. The service is poor and the staff are impolite. But if we're going to use one positive and one negative, we say the restaurant service is slow, but the staff are friendly and welcoming. So we use but when we have one negative and one positive. Now, again, practice for one minute. I want you to write the staff welcoming and the service fast. One minute, start. Okay, time is up. I have a question. It's welcoming and fast. Shall I use and or but? Let's see. The service is fast and the staff is welcoming. Positive, positive, and. But one positive, one negative, but. Now, after we mentioned the points, what I want you to do now is that I want you to take your piece of paper and reorder them. So I want you to actually draw this sheet and reorder these points based on the paragraphs on your opinion. How should it be distributed? You have two minutes to do that. The time starts now.
Okay, time is up. I'm expecting that while arranging these points, you actually imagined yourself recommending a restaurant to your friend. That's how actually you can make it easier. So, for example, if I was going to recommend a restaurant to a friend, I'll start by the name, followed by the location. So I'm going to tell her the restaurant is A, it's placed in location B. The type is optional, followed by all the points that we presented today will be in the body. And the conclusion is usually the recommendations, things you want your friend to remember or to be aware of. Now, keep the paper with you. You will need it because our next activity is going to be reading. So first, what I want you to do is that we'll read this paragraph together and we'll be reading one paragraph and then I'll stop. When I stop, I want you to actually note the points and underline them that were discussed and presented in this slide. So these, I want them to be actually presented here. We'll stop for each paragraph. Let's read it together. If you are looking for an exciting meal and a fun dining experience, you must visit the Taj restaurant. It is an Indian restaurant that is located in Seif district. So, underline the points that were mentioned in paragraph one. For example, the Taj restaurant, the name. After the name, I said the main important thing after the name to tell your friend is what? The location. Or the type, the type was a choice of reference. Here, I kept the choice, Indian restaurant, so I specified the type. The location, Seif district. Now, the second paragraph. The restaurant offers delicious spicy Indian food like dal and biryani at high prices. The service is excellent and the staff is polite. The restaurant's atmosphere is relaxed and friendly with simple traditional decor. Now, remember the main points that we tackled? They're all presented in the body. I want you to underline them and name them. I'll give you 20 seconds. Time is up. I'm expecting the answers to be all correct because we kept repeating it all over. But let's check. Food. Delicious, spicy Indian food. At a high price. The prices. What else? The staff. Or the service. The service is excellent. And the staff is polite. And because the two points are positive. The atmosphere relaxed and friendly. The deco, simple, traditional deco. Last but not least, the Taj restaurant is a perfect place for having a special, unforgettable meal. The recommendations. So this is how we write a restaurant review. So when you're going to review a restaurant or when you're going to actually write a restaurant review or recommend a restaurant for your friend. This is the layout that we are expecting you to follow. Now, before we actually move on, taking into my, in mind these, con these points, self-assessment. Now we'll start writing a review. I believe we tackled everything. You know the points, you know the paragraphs, three paragraphs, the introduction, the body, and the conclusion, and what should be tackled. But before we start, make sure you have the checklist in front of you, the main points, the spelling, the punctuation. Now, I'm expecting you to write a short restaurant's review, including the following points. The number of words, I'm expecting 70 to 90 words, following the format presented earlier. You can be creative, but please make sure you cover these points. 
the name, location, food, price, atmosphere, deco, your recommendation. And remember to keep them in the paragraphs, the first, second, and third. Once you finish this, for further practice, please refer to your class book page 79. By that, we will be done with the lesson today, and thank you.